Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do the RLCMT DCP setup using uh, computer and the hardware IP setup for the rotary switch. So this is a rotary switch. So let's on the power supply. Okay. Okay, so now everything is green on already. So in order to connect to the computer, you need to use a micro USB. Yeah? This is the micro USB. Okay. So what you need to do is open this port. Okay, to open this port, you need the flat screwdriver. Okay. Okay, now you open ready. Alright. Then you connect to the micro USB port okay okay after you connect then you need to go to comp computer and do the IP configuration okay that's the first step okay so now you open your DAQ master software okay this DAQ master software you can download in our alternate website for free so now once you open you go to supported device list then you double click this Okay, after that, you click connect and you click scan. Okay, this is your coupler, this is your analog input card and digital input card. Alright, so you click this. Okay, this one cancel. If you don't have the latest software, you don't need to download, just click cancel and close. Okay, so uh, okay, before I start to set the coupler IP address, make sure your rotary switch is zero. Okay. Okay, now let's set the IP address. Okay, let's say I set this to 20. Okay. Okay, once you set to 20, you click enter. Then after that, you are required to reset the coupler. So you can do it in here. You click this, then you click OK to reset. Okay. So that's all. Now let's click again the coupler. Now as you can see, the IP address has changed to 20. Alright, that's all. Okay, so in this uh, next uh, IP configuration, we're going to use a rotary switch. Okay, so this is the rotary switch. Huh? Okay, so now currently the setting is zero. Okay. So let's say if you want to set the IP address to uh, 5, so what you need to do is, you set this to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? That's all, okay? As you can see, there's an error in here, okay? You need to do is power on off the uh, RSCMT, okay? So let's off the power. Okay, now we on. Okay, now the system is green. Okay, the next step is we let's let us see inside the computer, the DAQ master, what's the IP address that we set. By right, it should be setting is 192.168.2 and 5. Okay. Okay, so let's continue where we start about the rotary switch. Okay, so rotary switch I have set as 5. Okay. So let's have a look, connect, scan, okay, click this coupler, okay, okay, as you can see, the rotary switch is 5, okay, so when this one set as 5, the only IP address change is right here, okay, this 20 uh, will change to 5, 192, 168, and 2 will remain, okay, so let's prove that by using a pin, Okay, let's ping. Let's say I want to ping the 192.168.2 and 20. Okay, it should not be able to ping. Okay, there is no reply from the host. The host is unreachable. Okay, so it's time out. Alright. Okay, so let's ping the 5. 
So as I mentioned, 192.168.2 will remain, only the back will change. Okay. Okay, as you can see, there is a reply from IP address 192.168.2 and 5. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay, let's see how the rotary switch works. Currently, the setting for address times 1 is 5 and address times 16 is 0. Okay, so let's set this address times 16 to 5. All right. Okay, as you can see, the system LED is red and green blinking. Okay, so what we're going to do is off the power supply. Okay, wait for a while. Then now we on back the power supply. Okay, the purpose of power off on the coupler is to reset the setting. Okay, now the LED of the system is green blinking so means the system is healthy okay now we need to go to computer there use the daq master to check the rotary switch address okay let's continue okay just now i set the rotary switch uh, for the address times one is five and the address times 16 is also five so let's open the daq master and then connect and scan let's see what is the rotary switch result Okay, so if you don't have the firmware, you can just click cancel, don't need to download first. Okay, as you can see, the rotary switch result is 85. Okay, this is it, 85. Okay, how to get this 85? It's actually a very simple calculation. Okay, the address times 1 is actually 1 times, okay, the address is 5, just now we said, 5. Okay, then you plus. Okay, that one is actually times 16. So it's actually 16 times. Okay, just now we said it's 5. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, that's how you get the rotary switch, 85. Okay, that's the result. Okay, now let's ping. Okay, let's ping. Can you, can you able to reply? Okay, 85. Okay, there's a reply from the host. Alright. Okay. Thank you. That's all.